Hispanic Heritage Month is in full swing, so that can only mean one thing. The LGBTQ ABCs are too. But this time, you're meeting Hispanic and Latinx folks who've made their mark on the world, starting with Angie Extravaganza, co-founder and mother of the House of Extravaganza. This house is one of the most prominent in New York's ballroom scene and is credited as being the first primary Latina house. Our B is Bambi Salcedo, the first trans Latina to have her life story documented in Transvisible, the Bambi Salcedo story. C is for Carlos Elizondo, the White House's social secretary. He's the first Hispanic person and the second openly gay person to hold the position. Demi Lovato is our D. They're a singer, songwriter, actor, mental health, and LGBTQ rights advocate. Poet, author, and activist Emmanuel Xavier is next. Most of his work has political, sexual, and religious themes. F is for Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. She's known for her self-portraits, and her work has been celebrated internationally for decades by Chicanos, feminists, and the LGBTQ community. RG, Gabriel Acevedo, is the first openly gay Afro-Latino and one of the youngest people ever elected to the Maryland House of Delegates. Horacio Ramirez was a writer and oral historian. He was one of the first to study and chronicle the lives of gay Latinos in the Mission District of San Francisco. That's India Moore. They're an Afro-Taino actor and model, best known for their role as Angel Evangelista in Pose on FX. And in 2019, they were named one of Time's most influential people. RJ, Jonathan Del Arco, is an actor and gay rights political activist. He's best known for his role as Hugh the Borg in Star Trek, The Next Generation. K is for Kevin Candelario, AKA Candy Muse, a drag queen, performer, and artist. Candy's from New York, just like Lorena Borjas, a transgender and immigration activist. She was known as the mother of the Latinx transgender community in Queens. Now Miguel Pinero, RM, he was a leading member of the New Rican literary movement. Think of that as a Puerto Rican version of the Black Renaissance. It was a time when poets, writers, and musicians of Puerto Rican descent who lived in or near New York completely thrived. And this is our last New Yorker, for now. Nitty Scott, she's an MC and rapper from Brooklyn. O is for Orlando Cruz, the first boxer to come out as gay while still boxing professionally. And our P, Pigeon Pagonas, is an intersex activist, writer, and artist. The first lesbian Latina to be appointed as a federal judge is our Q, Nitza Quinones Alejandro. She presides over the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. While Richie Torres, the first openly gay Afro-Latino elected to Congress, serves in the 15th District of New York. Sylvia Rivera is our S. She's one of the most prominent names to come out of the 1969 Stonewall Rebellion. Alongside Marsha P. Johnson, she co-founded STAR, the street transvestite action revolutionaries to support queer youth and sex workers. T is for Tatiana de la Tierra, the creator of the first international Latina lesbian magazine called Esto No Tiene Nombre. It featured several Latina writers, including our you, Luz Maria Umpierre, who was also a human rights advocate and a poet. Transgender activist and retired domestic violence counselor Victoria Cruz is next. She's a main character in the documentary, The Life and Death of Marsha P. Johnson. W is for Holly Woodlawn, actress and star of Andy Warhol movies, Trash and Woman in Revolt from the 1970s. X Gonzalez is an activist and advocate for gun control. As a high school senior, they survived the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida, and in response, co-founded the gun control advocacy group, Never Again MSD. Mexican-born poet and activist Yosemar Reyes centers queer, working class, and immigrant themes in his work. And Z, Zaya Moreno, is a trans actress who can be seen on the new reboot of Gossip Girl. There you go. Another month, another list of amazing queer folks. And even if you didn't know all of their names, their contributions to the arts, sports, politics, and society have made a huge impact on our communities, the country, and the world.